Hello and welcome to Georgia State University Robinson College of Business. Today I'm going to introduce to you some things you will need to operate successfully here at Georgia State University. On the agenda today, we will first talk about activating your campus ID. Next, we will talk about dual multi-factor authentication, activating and forwarding your Panther mail. Next, we will talk about some online resources that may be helpful to you as a student here. And last, how to get additional help that you may need. So let's get started. Activating your campus ID and dual multi-factor authentication. The first thing you would want to do if you have not already done so is activate your campus ID. You should have already received this information before now. A campus ID is usually comprised of the first initial of your first name and your last name along with some number at the end. To activate your campus ID, you want to first make sure that you are connected to the internet. Then open a web browser such as Edge, Firefox, or Chrome. Next, you wanna type in the address bar of your browser, campusid.gsu.edu, and then hit the enter key on your keyboard. You will arrive at the Campus ID Password Manager. The next step is to click on Activate New Campus ID. After clicking the link, you will be presented with four steps to complete the activation. One, enter your temporary password. We will talk more about this in the next slide. Two, create your security questions and answers. Three, create your camp new campus ID password. And four, enter a mobile phone number to set up SMS text messaging for password recovery. Now type in your campus ID as shown in box A. Then click sign in as shown in box B. your temporary password. So next you will be presented to type in your temporary password. Let's talk about your temporary password. When your campus ID was created, a formula was used to determine what your temporary password would become. Your temporary password is the capitalized first letter of your first name the lowercase first letter of your last name, then your Panther number. Let's look at the example here. Our fictitious student, Adam Smith, temporary password becomes as follows. His capitalized first letter of his first name, which is capital A, the lowercase first letter of his last name, which is lowercase s, then his Panther number, which is 12349875012334. To find your Panther number, look on your Panther ID card behind Panther hashtag. Once you have properly typed in your temporary password, you are asked to update your security questions. There are four questions that you will be able to select and then provide the answers to. Make sure that you remember the answers because they will be needed in the event 
that you will have you have locked out your account or you are unable to resolve a password reset using the online method. Next, click Save Answers, shown by box B. Now you are presented with the Change Password screen in the activation process. Passwords must meet the following requirements must be a minimum of 10 characters and a maximum of 32 characters. Must start with a letter. Cannot be any previously used passwords. Must contain one lowercase letter, one uppercase letter, at least one number, and no special characters. Once you have created a password that is comfortable with rem that you are comfortable with remembering, type it in both the new password and the confirmed password boxes and click change password. Here's a quick note. Your password expires every 120 days. You will receive a password reset notification by email. 14 days before expiration. This should give you enough time to think of your next password. If you desire to change the password before the 14 days are up, you are more than welcome to do so. The final part of the Campus ID activation process is to update your SMS settings. This is where you can enter in a US mobile carrier phone number that will be used to assist you with password recovery notices. Then click update and you are now finished with the activation of your campus ID. Dual multi-factor authentication is a security measure that GSU has implemented university-wide. Here is a four-minute video to explain how to set up and use this feature. This video shows you how to activate your Duo account and also how you will log in once Duo has been activated. How to set up Duo. First, go to this URL, technology.gsu.edu slash duo. Next, click the red button. Now, click the Get Started button to begin setting up Duo. For this example, we'll demonstrate how to set up a mobile phone. Choose mobile phone and click Continue. Choose the type of phone, then click Continue. For this example, we chose Android. The process is very similar on other devices, and we have detailed instructions on the web for your phone or device. The next few steps will require your phone. We'll come back to the screen in a moment. Now, we will install the Duo mobile app on your phone. Find the app in the Google Play Store on your phone. For iOS devices, you would go to the Apple App Store instead. Tap Install. Wait for the app to download and install. When it is ready, the screen will show a button you can tap to open the app. Tap Open. The dual mobile app opens on your phone. Tap Get Started. Tap Allow to enable Duo Mobile to use your phone's camera. We'll use this in the next step. Now, return to the web browser. Click the button labeled, I have Duo Mobile installed. Now your phone's camera is ready to scan the QR code on your web browser's screen. Frame the QR code in the view on your phone and bring the phone as close as you need to fill the view with the QR code. The app will read the code and move on to the next step. You may see the words adding account appear briefly on your phone's screen. In the web browser, 
the screen shows a green check mark when you've succeeded. Click Continue. Now that your device has been registered, refresh the page in the browser. The green button under Step 2 will become active. Scroll down and click Activate Duo for your Panther Mail student email account. Your Duo setup is complete. Here's what it will look like when you log into email after setting up Duo. After entering your password, you'll see this prompt. Where it says, remember me, check the box. Choose a method. For this example, we chose send me a push. Duo sends a message to your mobile phone with two buttons to choose from, approve and deny. Tap approve to complete logging in. If you like, you may choose to receive phone calls instead of push messages by default. If you need help with this, or if you'd like to know more about Duo and the options available to you, more help and information is available online at technology.gsu.edu slash Duo. You may also email the IIT Help Center at help at gsu.edu or call 404-413-4357. That's 404-413-H-E-L-P.